take your calls, answer your questions, help you connect with loved ones on the other side. And you know, today you'll probably get through. There are not a lot of callers. There's been a lot of interruption with the YouTube feed, with um, with all of the all of the electronic stuff. There's been a bit of interruption. So if you call in today, you probably will get through today. Okay, next. Um, the number that you call in for the show is not the number or the place you go for private sessions. I've had a couple of people make that mistake or you know not know that. If you would like a private session, it's www.tonig.info. I'm going to adjust something here. Just one quick second. That's a little better. Okay. That was a little bright in my eyes. Okay. So next, what's next? What's, what's next? What else do I normally say? If you would like to join us live, you can also join us live in the chat and you can ask questions in the chat again about life, love, career, finances, connect with somebody on the other side. Let's say hi to everybody in the chat. Hey, Rebecca, Genevieve. Um, Rebecca, who oh, Genevieve, Terry, thank you for being here. Sal, hey, Sal, how are you? Um, Amy. Uh, Mimi, thank you for being here and all the timestamps, Mimi, Kathy, Vaughn, Anne, um, and everybody else here. I think I did get everybody. I hope I did get everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Please um, forgive that. Okay. Uh, so I'll love to come and get, get all of your money out of the banks. Um, here's what I'll say. There's a lot of money laundering that goes on that's called different things. Like, oh, the bank ran out of money and they're they're having a breakdown. Oh, is that because the federal government will always come to their aid and help them out, right? So really, um, we'll see in a minute, like, within so many days, they'll pass something that gives them bailout again. Um, so yeah, so that's a lot of that. I don't panic yet. Don't panic yet. And I say the word yet loosely. Don't, don't panic yet. Uh, what else? Anything else? Um, I think that's it for that. Let's go to um, let's go to the first caller. The first caller is 703. 703, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Angie. I'm calling from Virginia. Hey, Angie, how can I help you today? Well, my son is getting married and uh, in ex actually the wedding's next month, but the whole year they've been planning this wedding and my son is relationship and I have been kind of like off and on rocky. So I don't know if it's her. I wasn't even invited to go wedding dress shopping. I wasn't invited to play in the bridal shower. So I don't know if she doesn't like me or just, you know, I don't know, son or, or my future daughter-in-law. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay. So here, this is a really, really sensitive thing. And I'm going to tell you, um, here's what I'm going to say. Moms and daughters are one thing. Daughters and mothers-in-laws are another thing. We always have an expectation that we'll be a part of things. An expectation for anybody listening, the more expectation you can delete from your life, from yourself or other people, just the happier you're going to be. Um, she likes you. Okay, she's just not bonded with you. So when you have no, she's not she because, and that's my son's fault. No, yes, no, maybe it, it is what it is. If okay, listen, let's say this if somebody wants to get to know me, if somebody wants to be bonded to me, they want to create a bond with me, regardless of they what, would any, have. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you for so much for calling in. I'm so grateful for your call. If you have another question, please call in again. I'm going to go to 205. 205, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. My name is Patricia, and I'm calling from Alabama. And um, I work um, um, in the medical profession, contract. I haven't had a contract since um, uh, mid January, and I was just wondering when do you see me getting another contract? Um, with all the wishes, um, you know, good money, um, um, loving um, my coworkers, um, and enjoying taking care of my patients. Okay. So the first thing, thank you. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. And thank you, my love. Thank you. The first thing I hear is June. I hear there's going to be a contract coming in and either you'll get the contract here, get or start the contract in June. June is going to be a really big month for you. I know that's a couple months away. I hear that between now and then they're saying you could do something and they're using the term peace work. I'm, I'm really not sure what that means. I think you might know what that means, but I'm sorry, I don't know what that means um, when they say peace work. What I can tell you is if you choose between now and your next contract, there is, some, there is some work you can do that will bring in some money. It might not be the same type of work you've been doing or the same way you've been doing it, but something will come in that is definitely temporary and it's meant to be temporary until the next contract. I don't feel like you're going to have to wait until June to work, but I do feel like the next contract is in June. June. Yeah, I keep getting June. Now, um, for those who are open to it, there's always remote positions available or work from home positions available with companies like Tesla, Apple, um, American Express, Discover, they all will, each and every one of those companies will train you and you can work from home. So they will, um, it, and it doesn't have to be a full-time forever position. It can be a part-time. I believe that, that it can be part-time and you can work different shifts with these companies because a lot of them are customer service where you can maybe do a three to eight shift or a, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not going to say too much because uh, different companies offer different um, possibilities. I'm also going to say there is a, going to be an open opening for you um also in July. So there's a contract coming in in June and then an opening coming in in July. Okay. So you'll have a choice between two uh, different contracts or positions at that time. And again, you don't have to wait till then to bring money in. I mean, if you're good and you're not caring about working until then, uh, great. But if you do need to bring or want to bring or just have to, something to do, there are going to be um, several positions available for you between now and then. They just won't be in the same field or doing it the same way. Okay. I don't want to repeat myself again. So I'm, I'm just going to drop that ball there. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. love? That sounds great, Tony. And, and, and those, because I'm very open to uh, doing, um, you know, many, many different jobs, and I'm okay with that until I, you know, get to do what I love to do. Um, I have done that before. Um, so when you talk about, or do you see those temporary jobs, do you see those temporary jobs coming up within, you know, like the next week or the next two weeks? Because I do need to start bringing in um, revenue again. Yeah. I need income coming in, because of course I have you know, bills to pay. So exactly. anything that you see within the next week or two is that um, I'm very open for it. Okay. And, and it's, it's something that I need to be doing to bring that on in, please. I absolutely understand that. And I get that. I always say, if you're in this position, find the first cash job you can. And a, a cash job 
Okay. can be anything from, and I'm going to name a variety of them. And I'm not saying these are going to be your perfect cash jobs, but they might be for somebody else. Or you might, you know, I might assume something incorrectly. A cash job is babysitting, <laughs> bringing kiddos in your home and watching them for cash. Um, if you can and want to, that is a really good cash job because daycares are hella expensive. If you've ever tried to put your kiddo in a daycare, it is craziness. Um, so if, if, if that's something, another one, if you want to get out of the home and do cash jobs, um, there is everything from, and I, I, and again, from being in the service industry, as far as, um, being uh, uh, waiting tables, uh, doing uh, bartending, any kind of service industry position like that. A couple of my friends, if you have a vehicle and you like driving, a couple of my friends work for Lyft, door to door and Uber. And they like it because you get in your car when you want, you just turn your thing on and you start making money. And um, some of my friends that do Uber and um, I think it's door to door or Lyft, they, if uh, depending on how the hours they work and when they're available, they will get anywhere from 600 to whatever a week. Now that's not working 10 hours a week. It's working more than that. But if you're if you're open to that and that's not cash, that's, you know, they send that money to you. Um, so there are some and then I always, 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 always say this. If there's something you naturally can do. Hairs, nails, uh, brows, and you don't mind doing that for friends and family for cash, do it. OK, um, if there's something you can naturally do, jump on it, get into it and do it. Um, and you will be surprised at what comes 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 in for you. Um, but those are some of the ideas. I do feel like there is going to be some two, two, uh, <clears throat> excuse my voice. There's going to be two options coming in within this month, which is two weeks for cash. So whether you find somebody you can do, let, oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I, I like stalled it out this long. Um, one thing that you can do, like there's babysitting for kiddos, right? Going to their home or having them come in, but there's also babysitting the elderly. And I, I'm sorry, I'm using the word babysitting, but yeah. elder sitting, um, either working with yeah. a company to do like that. Um, or if you know someone and you say, listen, I can come in and I can like help out and do X, Y, and Z. Um, that's a really good option also. So I feel like there's going to be two cash options for you near the end of the month. You are going to have to put your feelers out and talk to people about it. Um, and then there will be other options that are um, not not only cash, but that are um, that are pay options like regular um, go to work jobs or work from home jobs. OK, love. Mm -hmm. and OK, you definitely um, resonated um, with the because I have done the, you know, um, step in um, by word of mouth or just putting myself out there fitting with um, the elderly because again it's part of the profession so um, and that's so funny that you said that but um, and it's not because if you do um, you are um, just beautiful at what you do oh my goodness, um, thank you. and the messages always are on point so I'm not surprised that you picked that up but I was just thinking um, to go back to one of my places where I go to check and see do anyone need um, a helping hand. And that means just going to the elderly place and helping them out and servicing them in any way I can. And so 
Uh, that's something I have done in between jobs. So for you to pick that up, I was thinking about that um, and, and, and thinking about doing that. So thank you so much, Tony, um, again, for the message. And um, many blessings to you. I love you. I love speaking oh with goodness. you, and I love listening to you. So um, until the next time, um, blessings. And again, thank you. Thank you so much for the message. And thank you so much. And um, I'm going to be doing some clearings in a little bit. So please stay on the line and we'll do some clearings. But we're going to start right now with a clearing um, for anybody and everybody looking for work or needing to bring in money, especially right now. We're going to do a clearing of we are bringing in money. I get a no. We're going to we're going to clear that now. Whew. And then, oh, that is a big one for everybody. I feel like everybody needs that right now. Oh, and then the next one, the next one I'm going to do is um, uh, we are bringing in more money that is going out. Now, that's a huge one. So let's clear, heal, release that. If anybody um, on YouTube, anybody listening on YouTube in the chat is feeling this, please let me know what you're feeling. Are, is this hitting you guys as hard as it's hitting me? Um, and then the next one I want to do is we are getting work that we are in alignment with and compatible with. And I get a no. And even that's like, let's clear that. And that, like you can hear, is really stressing out my voice. And I get that because we spend most of our life at work. Literally, when you think about it, we spend most of our life at work or sleeping. So we want that work that we do to be something we love, something we're compatible with, something that just like uplifts us. The other thing I'm getting for you, sweetie, is don't be afraid to, um, and for you or anybody else listening, and I have said this in other shows, um, if somebody needs you to do their shopping for them, if somebody wants you to cook their meals for them, if somebody or you could make a, like one day, um, I know of somebody who does this every weekend they make they let all their friends know and tell their friends to let friends know like every weekend I'm going to cook and it's this much a plate. So if you want it, call me and order. And this person happens to cook um, a certain type of food. But you could, whatever you cook, like you could make anything and say, hey, listen, instead of going to a restaurant, I'm going to make this and build it up slowly. When it's gone, it's gone. Um, but that's a really good way to make um, cash, too. And I'm going to say you don't have to just do one thing. You can do a couple of things. So if you make a big pot of gumbo, I don't know why gumbo is coming to me. I've never had gumbo in my life. <laughs> but if you make a big, like a big stock pot of gumbo and you put the word out, hey, I made this big stock pot of gumbo to your friends and family. It's this much per like dish. And then, you know, uh, let, it, let people come and get it. If they don't come and get it, freeze it and eat it later. It's, it never goes to waste, right? <laughs> so that's what I, and also you can also do that with like, you can do the gumbo and the, like a big thing of brownies or a cake and say, it's this much per piece unless you want the whole cake. There are so many ways if you, if people are willing and able, they will start coming every Friday <laughs> And or Saturday to get food from you because nobody, you know, Friday and Saturday, people have to cook every night. If you already have the food prepped and it's a good homemade meal, they will come and they will get that food and they will eat it and they will love it because, you know, no, I'm going to say this to you and I mean this, nobody can cook better, especially even my generation. Nobody can cook better than our grandmas and our moms. I am putting that up because they know they didn't take all the shortcuts, right? They didn't take all the shortcuts and right. they, they make it with so much heart. And that's what, that's just what they did all the time. The children were growing up. Grandmas, most grandmas didn't work. They stayed home and they cooked with love. And, and that they make 
some of the best foods. Um, and, and even like my mom was an amazing, amazing cook. Um, so there's some ideas for anybody who would be inclined to have them. I hope these ideas help you, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul friend. And um, please do call back in yeah. the future when, when things come together or if you have another question, okay? I sure will. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Tony. All Absol of that help. Thank Absol you so much. You know what? Absolutely. Absolutely my pleasure. And I'm so grateful to be able to be here and to help like this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to say, and I hope I, um, for anybody listening, if you know how to make a certain ethnic food, like soul food or Jamaican food or, uh, Latin food or start doing that and start sharing it. Um, there is, there is, it, it is really needed, especially in today's world with what's out there. It is really needed. Um, seriously, it, it's just, it's just very, very needed. Okay. It is. Um, I am going to go to 514. 514, what's your, <clears throat> what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. It's Genevieve from Montreal, Canada. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness, Genevieve. I'm so good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I got to say, I love this setting because I'm listening to you on the phone and I'm watching you on YouTube and I love your office and all the plants. I'm the same, I'm the same way, but I love the energy of the plants. It's gorgeous. And you look like in a jungle. Yes. We're just missing the giraffe. Thank you. Well, that I I have other giraffes on. Like, there's this little giraffe here, and then another one over there. So, and I have elephants all around too. Um, but they're here. They're still here. They're, if I stay in this setting, I'll bring the big giraffe over. But um, I'm a little. I'm a little, I shouldn't worry about this, I know, but for TV and everything, I'm a little washed out, so I have to find a way to block out a little bit more light of the windows while I do the show, and then it will be a better quality of, um, a better quality for everything, but I think I am going to do this, I'm just going to work on it between now and Wednesday, so Wednesday when I come back in, it will be a little bit um, clearer. And I won't be so washed out on um, camera. But thank you so much for the co compliment. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. Genevieve, how can I help you today? Well, just to say you always look beautiful. So don't worry about being washed washed out. You always look phenomenal. And also with your energy, it's just, it's just, great. It's just great, 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 beautiful energy. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank so you. Yes, yes, love. Uh, yes, I was calling you because my uh, stepmother, uh, I've been invaded with the spirits lately. My dad's been singing in my dreams, my uh, stepmother, my father's last wife, and as well as my cousin, which I hardly think about, who passed away 15 years ago, has been also booming in my mind uh, constantly. So I don't know... Um, what they are trying to my dad was happy in my last dream so my dad I love you dad it's great I know you're there and everything but I'm wondering why um my stepmother my um her name was Ricarda and I've got my cousin Christian keeps popping up so um that's my question to you what's what, what's going on with them okay so the first word I get Genevieve is communication so one of the things I'm going to say to you, and it's really important um, for you, is um, it's good to see our loved ones. It's good to have them pop up in dreams. They're bringing you messages. Now, if in your dreams, you you know how we have a dream and we start to become aware of the dream. So let's just say we first the That's dream right. is just happening and then we start observing the dream, but then we can start to participate in the dream. OK, so the thing that I'm getting is there they have always 
uh, words, work, words, work. Um, they have always been in your dreams. They have always been there. They always come. They always join in. They always hang out in your dreams. Now you're starting to see them because um, of something. Maybe it's the planetary shifts. I don't know what it is, but everybody is having crazy vivid dreams right now. It is. Whoa. So what I'm going to say to you is that when you start to become aware of your dream, ask. And somebody asked last week, it might have been Anne, you know, all my teeth fell out in my dream. I think that's fear, by the way. Um just ask why, what does this represent in a case like that? But in your case, Genevieve, ask um, something to the effect of just say, what, what's, what do I need? What, what do you need to tell me? What are you communicating to me? Some of them are just communicating, look, I'm good. I'm healthy. I'm happy. Some of them are coming in with um, condolences of, I'm really sorry things played out the way they did. And others are just coming through saying, hey, we're here with you. And they're giving you downloads for future. Sometimes even if we ask them, like uh, if we say, hey, wh what do I need to know? They communicate in a nonverbal way. 90% of the time. So it's just something, it's like a download on your computer. Um, you may not even hear the message, but they're putting it in and you'll have a sense, a sense of the message is what I'm going to say. Okay, love. Whew, and that's what I have. Thank <laughs> that's you. That's, that's just from my dad. That's exactly it. It's just, I was wondering about the, um, Ricarda and my cousin. I just don't know why, but Thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. And I think they, I, I, when someone comes and visits us in a dream, either we're going, they're always there. First of all, I'm going to say that again, we are going through huge transitions and, or they want us to know they're okay. And, or, um, they are just helping us to progress is what I'm going to say in your case. Now, what you're seeing in your dreams, Genevieve, you can start to see in your awake state, like not always, but at times. The reason we see them more in our dreams is because the fear isn't there. So in our dreams, we don't have the fear of, um, I'm going to just use, I don't, don't come at me for this word, anybody. Uh, ghosts or spirits. We don't have that fear in our dreams. But in our waking life, if we see, let's say, a loved one across the room, we're like, oh my God, is that them? Am I crazy? Am I blah, 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 blah? And your head starts to go crazy with, is that really them? It, is that really not them? Okay. So what I'm going to say to you is, the, the more you are comfortable with it for you and anybody else listening, the more they're going to show up, not only in your dreams, but in your daily uh, to and fro life, you'll see them more. I love each and every one of you so very, very much. I'm so grateful for the time that we get to spend together here. I will be back Wednesday at um, noon central. If you uh, would like to call in on Wednesday, the call in number is always 845 277 9131. I'm trying to go so fast. It's not working. I love you all. Please join me on Wednesday. If you did not get through today, I apologize, but I will do my best to get to you on Wednesday. Until then, go make miracles in your life. Okay.